Welcome to Motor Rose Music. My name is Jeff Thiel. I am the co-host of this channel, and the other co-host is in Detroit, or Motown. And that's my brother Lane, identical twin brother to be precise. And I am over in Beavertown, Beaverton, Oregon. All right, so as you may have guessed, the title of this uh, video is tongue-in-cheek. Uh, Retschel did not make me buy a fuzz pedal. He doesn't know me. I don't know him. You know, but I thought uh, that would be a good title since he did inspire me. He certainly did inspire me to get a fuzz pedal. Um, I am not a fan. Well, I wasn't a fan of fuzz pedals until I saw, uh, well, several of uh, Rhett Shell's shows. He is a fuzz evangelist, a self-proclaimed fuzz evangelist. He even has some pretty cool merch, uh, t-shirts and stuff like that that has it on. They're pretty funny. Uh, and if you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. Uh, it's fantastic. As well as JHS, if you see here, I have the box. And speaking of JHS, that was, you know, that was the thing that, that, that put me over the top for having to try a fuzz pedal. Rhett was on uh, Josh's show and they were doing a show on fuzz pedals and i think it was a history of them or it could have they they just had a bunch of them that they were playing and there were a few on there I was like dang those don't sound too bad um not that fuzz pedals sound bad but um it, it's they are just not my thing and it and it's really about how i play you know it's my style uh, of playing usually didn't doesn't suit a uh, a traditional fuzz pedal in comes the mxr after watching that show uh with rhett and josh on the jhs uh show i thought i was gonna you know go ahead and give them another try the fuzz pedals so i went to uh, a five-star guitar in beaverton here and i tried several and i came out with this the mxr Super badass, Variac Fuzz. Can't get a better name than that. Um, so, and I, I think the reason why I like it is, is because the Variac part. And if you aren't familiar, what this has, other than your traditional tone, uh, this is the, I'll, I'll put a picture up, uh, the output and then your gain, normal stuff. Uh, but here, you have the Variac button or knob. And what that does, it is it simulates the power that's within a battery. And what it's got, you can go up for the cleanest uh, or the least fuzzy, I should say, setting would be all the way up to 15 volts. Okay. And then to get a real dirty fuzz tone, you would do the 5 volts simulating that sagging battery, that battery that's getting ready to die on you, right? Well, you can get that sound with this, whether you're obviously, if you choose to uh, <clears throat> use a power supply or as I have in here, I put a nine volt in here so I can kind of, you know, move this around easier. Uh, typically I use a, a power supply on my pedal board, but you can simulate that right here with this button, getting that saggy battery. Some people like it. We're gonna find out what it sounds like with my uh, Strat, this is an Elite Strat. It's got the HSS. Uh, I'll, I'll mainly be doing the, the humbucker uh, on this. I think it sounds best. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the, to the bridge, uh, not the bridge, the, the neck pickup uh, a couple of times. And I'll go through the basic settings, basically the, the full on 12 o'clock and then uh, the, the lowest. I'll be running through those types of settings. And then after that, I will switch over to the Les Paul. I suspect I'm going to like that the best. I, I did not, I haven't tried it through my Les Paul yet. Uh, I've done a little bit with this, uh, this Strat here just to get familiar with it. And uh, then that'll be it. That that'll wrap it up. But first we'll go to Strat, then Les Paul. All right, I've got the amp warmed up, and I, I am running through a uh, 68 Deluxe Reverb. That's a, you know, a, a silver face reissue, um, <clears throat> and I just got it a few years ago. And 
Uh, again, this is a 2018 uh, uh, Stratocaster Elite with uh, the HSS configuration. Um, got my clean. Turn this off here. Now, when I do this, I'm going to turn this, uh, this is a generic or an imitation SM58, but I do have a Shure SM57 running up against that uh, deluxe reverb. So, and again, we're going to start, um, the settings are going to be at uh, the, the lowest fuzz uh, settings. And I'll, uh, hopefully I remember to put pictures up here somewhere to show you where these settings are. Turn the mic back on. Okay, so that was at their lowest settings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gain up to 12 o'clock. And then I'm going to put the variac right in the middle. So that's kind of, you know, maybe about, I don't know, 11, 11 volts. Well, it's probably less than that. That's probably be 9 volt, I'm guessing. Um, all right, here we go. I remembered this time. Okay, so that was uh, gain, half, variac, half. Now, we're going to hit the fuzz here. Full-on fuzz. We're going saggy battery at 5 volt. And, whoop, turn the gain the wrong way. And gain all the way up. single coil. We'll go to the neck pickup real quick. Certainly gets that kind of nice violin kind of kind of tone to it, um, but uh, yeah, you know when it gets there, you certainly I, I can't you know really you know hit. Yeah, that's really the best you know fuzz I, I I've tried, uh, and it to me it's it's one of the most usable. I say one of. Because I got another video, I just found another fuzz pedal right after I bought this one. 
and I'll let you know which one I like better when I do the video. I'm going to do that video shortly after this, and uh, we'll compare the two. The, the other one, the next one, is not as um, versatile as this one, and it's not as fuzzy. It's really a fuzz pedal for people that don't like fuzz pedals or aren't sure about fuzz pedals. So, And we're going to cover that one in the next video. But now, let's bust out the Les Paul. I think the old Les Paul might do a little bit better. So we shall see. Let me cut to it. All right, back with the Les Paul here. This is, man, 2022 Les Paul Standard in Ice Tea Burst. A little Salata here. Uh, or Lipton for those of you who don't know Salata Tea. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is uh, Les Paul Standard. And uh, just got it a few months back, about four months ago, at least as of uh, obviously this video. So uh, I am going to go ahead and run through the same paces here. Uh, mostly I'll run through the bridge and then we'll do a couple of checks with the neck pickup. And then I'll try to remember to turn these back on and off, this uh, 58 here. So minimal fuzz setting coming up. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. Uh, that's uh, definitely, it, it, they seem to fit better. So now I'm going to, uh, going to, I'm going to go 12 o'clock both settings. Meaning 12 gain, 12 variac. Sounds great. Sounds great. Now we're going full on fuzz. Full fuzz power.
got to be careful. <laughs> got to be careful with that cord. Don't want to get uh, don't want to get blocked. Uh, so uh, yeah, that that really she makes a difference. Yeah. So once again, uh, this was. Let's see if I can. The MXR. Oh, that's great. <laughs> the M it's, like, it's like a, a commercial blooper. Uh, the MXR Super Badass Variac Fuzz. The only fuzz for me until I found this other pedal that I'll be making a video of. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, stopping by and watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. Uh, please, for those of you who are much better at fuzz pedals or with fuzz pedals than me, drop a comment in there and say, hey, you know, dummy, turn this down. I know I should have cleaned it up a little bit, but I like to try the pedal at full blast. You know, as far as the settings, I did turn it down, clean up a little bit. But go ahead and comment. Give me some tips. God knows I need them. But uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you later.